Hello everyone, I am Jason Cadlick, creator of ActiveWoo, and today I'm excited to launch a new feature and show you how it works. This new feature is to remove this whole create an account, login before you purchase thing that I've always been sort of bugged about WooCommerce. I want to check out everybody as a guest. I don't want them to have to think about if they want an account or not. Everybody should have one. I don't want them to have to remember their username and password before they try to purchase because that's you know a blocker to making the purchase happen. I want everything to run really smooth, as little thinking as possible when they're on the checkout page, right? So ActiveWoo now has a new setting, so we can just do away with this, create an account. We can get rid of this whole returning customer, click here to log in, and then if they forget their username and password, they're gonna have to go through the lost password thing. You don't want them doing that. You want them checking out and putting an order in your store let them worry about logging in after you've got the order done, right? So here's how it works. The first step is you need to come to the accounts tab and you want to disable the enable customer reg registration on the checkout page. You want to disable the display returning customer login and you can leave this checked. Automatically generate username from customer email. So you'll save those changes. And then if you haven't done it already, you need to come to the checkout tab and then enable guest checkout. So this allows people to check out without being logged in and that's what we want. Okay, next up, uh, you have to go to the integration tab where you find the ActiveWoo settings. So you come to integration, advanced settings, and then you'll want to enable the guest orders tracking. So tick that box if it's not already ticked and don't forget to save changes. It's really important that you uh, tick the box and then save changes because what's happening is we are creating a custom field over an active campaign. That custom field is called AW user password because what we're going to do is we're going to use active campaign to send new customers a, their username and this password. So that's been randomly generated, stored for you. And then I'll explain what happens a little later in the video, what happens if and when the customer updates their password but the spoiler is you're not going to be able to see their password. Once a user sets the password, then it's encrypted and it's safe with them. And uh, this will update and I'll show you that at the end. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to check out with this free product right here and then we'll see how it all works. First up, you'll see that I've enabled the advanced recover cart and the any uh, prompt to log in and so on and so forth has been removed. Okay, we've got everything in and we're going to now uh, place the order. All right, the order has been received. Let's go take a look in the admin. Now, if you check the guest uh, checkout immediately after the order happens, you'll see that the guest is not yet assigned to this order that is happening in the background. You will see, however, that the contact has been synced and that a temporary password has already been generated for this customer right there. You will see, however, that the user is in the user's table here. This is the one that I've uh, just checked out with. So um, they've now got an account inside WordPress. So the way that it works is this will stay pending as a guest until the user logs in. So we'll go ahead and log in. And you'll see that as soon as I've logged in, I've got my orders here and it's right there waiting for me. And if we go back to the order, when we go back to the order record here and we refresh it, then obviously uh, it's been associated. So it's really, really powerful about this is that if you've been running a site and you have um, orders that were done by guests, you can send them a username and password. If you create a username and password uh, for them going backwards and you email that to them, as soon as they log in, it's going to associate all of their past orders, which is really, really great. Now let's go create another order and we'll see that that new order is also automatically appended to this user's record. So I'll go ahead and log out and I'll go back to the cart and I'm going to uh, create a new order. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and place that order. And so if we go back, this is the previous order. This is the first one. So if we click view all other orders, you can see that the second one is not here yet. And so for this uh, same customer, okay, order received, and we go to the My Account page. Oh, I'm not logged in, so let me go ahead and log in. All right, and as soon as we log in, we can go back to our orders, and now they're both here. And so once again, if we go back to our order,
orders here, and we do view other orders, now they're both showing. So just uh, reinforcing the point that it is when the customer logs in, that is what will then automatically fetch the order and then sync the orders up uh, and assign that guest order to the user account, which is when we need it to uh, assign to them so that when they log in and go to their My Account page, they'll be able to see all their orders there. So that's the moment where it associates the guest order uh, to the user account. Okay, so now we have the question of what happens when uh, they have a password and they change it. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and choose a new password. Okay, so once I've updated my password here, we don't want to share their private password information back to, uh, to somewhere where it's not secure, right? So when we come back here, we'll see that the random password we generated for them so that we could send it to them this has now been replaced by customer updated password. So you can always check for this value. If someone uh, asks or writes into you and says, hey, I need my password, you should always direct them to WordPress and to the usual reset password or find your lost password functions within WordPress. So again, the, the AW user password here, this is only a random password set. Really, it's a temporary password so that you can email them their account information, maybe put in whatever additional um, upsell or information you want. It just basically lets you send the account registration after the purchase happens, number one. And then number two is it lets you design that email using the awesome email builder from Active Campaign rather than having to uh, work really hard to try to customize and figure out how to mess with the templates in, uh, in WooCommerce in order to do that. Plus you can obviously track um, who's clicking on that email and so you can really see the performance of that email. So that is the all guest checkout feature. I really, really hope that it improves your checkout flow. If it does, please write back to me, if, especially if you uh, do any kind of data tracking. I would love any hard numbers that you have um, on if this actually improves your uh, performance in terms of how many people complete the checkout versus when you were asking everyone to log in ahead of time.